Uh, can you give us just a status on where Jars and um, Madison were today, if it was maintenance or otherwise? So Mike Madison was uh, maintenance day, and uh, Tristan is being evaluated for a lower body injury. He will not travel with us to Boston. Jeff on the left. Like that being said, wouldn't have you really seen the progression with Casey and what's the confidence that you guys have in the performance that he's given? Well, we have we have uh, full confidence in Casey. You know his uh, his game has really evolved over the course of the season. Uh, I think you know since the the turn of the calendar year, he's put really solid hockey together for us. He's given us a chance to win each and every night. Um, he's a real good goalie, and, and we have uh, the utmost confidence in him. Um, Mike, is uh, the main of the guy you would bring up from the next period? I would anticipate that being the case. Um, uh, without having a, the full discussion yet with our, with our um, you know, with Hexi, but I would anticipate that being the case. With, with Casey, um, that's a good, you know, how much of a decision is split up the playing time throughout the season for goalies and how many starts you guys get. Is that the head coach? Is that organizationally go on with that? And, you know, we've seen sort of ins and outs with Casey's playing time, I feel like, where he played a lot more at a certain time and less at a certain time. Is that true? Um, so if you're asking who makes a decision on which goaltender plays, the answer is I do. And uh, <clears throat> certainly I do that with, with the consultation of our coaching staff. And so, but um, but it's my responsibility to make the decision on which goal he plays and when. And, uh, you know, we utilize the same criteria as we always do with every roster spot. Uh, as far as, you know, as far as how those decisions are made, there's a lot that goes into it. Uh, we do have an understanding of the big picture in trying to manage the workloads of both guys. Um, you, know, you know, we have an idea in mind on on uh, what that workload should look like, or whether it be on a month-to-month -month basis, or a week-to-week -week basis, or uh, you know, ultimately at the end of the year, where where the you know Tristan falls in games played versus uh, where Casey falls. So uh, there's a lot of things that go into play. That some some of them are predictable, some of them are unpredictable. Uh, but but ultimately, the, the responsibility falls on me. Jason, hey, Mike. Um, Good to see you. Good to see you, Good to see you too. Uh, I wanted to ask a question of it. this being the first game since the Marsh and, and Jari stuff, you know, and I know that just play and focus on hockey and all that. Do you have to say anything to, to guys with this being the first time, or does it not matter that Tristan's not on the ice? I actually forgot all about it, to be honest okay. with you, until you just reminded me. Uh, so I, for me, it's a non issue. I, I just think, you know, at, at this time of year, you know, both teams have. Uh, a certain focus on, on playing the game a certain way, you know, so that so that they can accomplish ultimately what they're trying to accomplish, whether it be solidifying the playoff spot, <coughs> excuse me, or or putting yourselves in, in the best possible position to have success when you do make the playoffs. So um, I don't I don't imagine that being an issue. Thanks, Coach. Okay.